Welcome everybody to a tier list video. We are going to have three different tiers, a cheap tier, affordable tier, and an expensive tier. Every single tier is going to have a bronze medal, a silver medal, and a gold medal. It is very, very self-explanatory, so sit back and enjoy the video. As well, make sure to check me out on Twitch. We stream five days a week at 11 a.m. UK time. The links will be in the description. Right, what is going on boys? Welcome everybody back to another FIFA 23 Premier League tier list ranking today we're going to be taking a look at center backs this is indeed the second last video of version one of the premier league tier list anyway uh we might do another video for the exact same concept the exact same idea the exact same template um in the middle of the game when there's more cards and we might just do a third one towards the end of the game if you guys do enjoy it make sure to drop a like and subscribe a lot of effort go into these videos so uh, yeah, let's get into it. As always, starting off with a cheap tier, taking home bronze. It is actually a two-way tie between Niakate and Konsa. These cards look very good for their price, both coming in at roughly like 1,000 coins. If anything, they'll be even less. These guys look very good, 78 and 79 pace. Their defensive stats of 79 and 80. They honestly look like very good week one or week two starting cards. Not much more to it than that, but just going to be a great starting. You could play them as a duo if you wish or you could just choose one of them they were both I, I couldn't really decide between one of them to be honest i'm not going to lie um obviously cons got better dribbling near has got one more pace uh cons has got one more defending it is very close between the two of them so i kind of had to put them both in one tier together both taking home the bronze medal Heading into second place, lads, it is going to be no other than Gold Saliba. As an Arsenal fan, I absolutely love this guy, and this card looks very nice, specifically with a shadow. Now, the reason I really like this card is the fact he is six foot three. He's going to have that Varane type of vibe about him, if you will. If you guys remember last year, Varane was overpowered. I feel like it's going to be similar with Saliba, just due to his absolute massive massive body type going into tackles with him will be absolutely excellent and he's got some good pace on him for a big man as well which leaves us with one who is taking home number one now i saw him in quite a few starting squads last year Gold medal for the cheap tier is going to go to Ben Godfrey. 82 pace. No, he's currently 3,500 coins. It's going to say no more than 5,000 coins for this card, lads. Uh, I think the only bad thing about him is his passing. As a center back, I'm not going to contradict myself and say it doesn't matter because I do believe in past FIFAs anyway. Passing as a center back is actually quite underrated. But for a starting card, Godfrey with 82 pace will be absolutely exceptional. And I mean, there's nothing much about it 82 pace alone is good enough for a center back and you can even go ahead and put an anchor or a shadow on that and get him some even more pace i probably would lean towards the anchor with him to get him that defensive and physical boost now upping the tier to the affordable so players that are better than the players in the cheap tier but they're not too over the top better they're not too much more expensive kind of like there's no set price range for it but i'd say the affordable tier has a max price cap of maybe fifty thousand coins all right just to be safe but in third place it is going to be joe gomez he is currently only six thousand coins in my opinion he has to be there we all know joe gomez is very good in game specifically in fifa 21 i believe it was joe gomez's year with the 83 rated center back he was ridiculous sure he doesn't look as good as he did in fifa 21 but nonetheless he's still got some solid pace on him and i feel like he actually looks very similar to niakate except gomez i would give him just his body type he's just that guy right he's just got that thing about him to mention as well he's actually got some solid dribbling for a center back so he will be a little bit reliable with the ball. I do think he's like the right combination of tall, but he can also dribble and he can actually move and turn quite nicely. Now, this might be a little bit controversial for a few people here, but in second place, taking home silver, it is going to be gold Raphael Varane. Now, although he currently saves 100,000 coins on footbin, EA messed up and it is his minimum price range. When his price does settle, I think this card will be maybe 35 to 45,000 coins in week one or week two of the game he looks good not as good as he is was last year or especially in fifa 21 when it was varan and mendy definitely not as good as he was then but nonetheless it is still rafael varan he's still got 81 pace and he's still got that six foot three body type 
is an Arsenal fan. It's the same guy. It is Inform Saliba is an Arsenal fan. I was going to say I absolutely love this man. And here we are. William Saliba, Big Willie himself, getting his Inform in game week one, making it to team of the week one as an Inform card. He looks very good, man. Now, I do think there'll be a little bit of controversy around him versus Varane. But the main reason I opted for William Saliba in form over Gold Varane, if you look at the passing and dribbling, their pace is, and defending physical is very similar. In fact, Saliba's got two more physical, one less defending and one less pace. But he has got nine more dribbling and he's got seven more passing. And I said it before in the cheap tier, I do think passing is an underrated stat for centre-backs for one, and dribbling as well. I did say for, was it Joe Gomez? I think dribbling is also underrated. So that is the only reason I put Saliba over Varane, and I do, I'm going to back myself, and I do think uh, William Saliba is going to be better in game than Varane. He is also six foot three, also got a massive body type, also probably got a good tackling animation going off of past FIFAs of players with a similar body type, but he's actually got some respectable dribbling and passing for a centre back, which I do think is underrated, especially if your opponent is playing a constant press and he does put you under pressure. William Saliba is going to be as composed as anything with that good dribbling and good passing. Now, this expensive tier is very interesting because he's only two centre-backs that qualify. There is a hero card, the Portuguese guy, I think Carvalho is his name, who is a Portuguese Premier League hero centre-back. But I did say in a, in a past video, heroes cannot qualify for this tier list because uh, it is literally meant to be a starting tier list type of thing. If you do want to put Carvalho in, you could probably slot him in second and move Koulibaly to third. But just to keep the series as... I, I guess you could say fair, if you will. I didn't involve any other heroes, so we're not going to involve Carvalho in today's tier list. And, and we're going to get straight into it, man. We have got in second place, Kula Bali. He looks absolutely phenomenal. The reason we have no third is because there simply wasn't enough high tier centre backs. You could debate Varane or Inform Saliba. Could definitely make it into an expensive one with a price of 30,000 coins. Um, Kula Bali, in fact, is, I think, 40,000 coins, right? So they could have most definitely qualified for third or second. Um, but I mean simple as we may as well just save a spot and we are going to have Koulibaly taking home second I think Koulibaly looks very very nice this year um, I think for nation links you won't really find much nation links for him but you've got Premier League and Chelsea with chemistry this year they do not have to be right next to him um, so you can have like another Chelsea player like Raheem Sterling maybe if you want to rock Kai Havertz something like that then that would definitely work quite nicely and you could get Koulibaly on relatively high chemistry which leads me into the next point with high chemistry the chemistry style for him it's kind of just screaming out a shadow max fat defending out max fat pace out his physical is already amazing um the only that down with this card is a 59 passing in my opinion once again some people don't mind poor passing as a center back but in my opinion i do not like it whatsoever if my center back doesn't have too much passing that's just me remember kula bali did have a, pl a player of the month last year with like 50 something shooting um, and although he was an absolute beast, he did cost me a couple goals when I was trying to build out from the back. Maybe it's just EA punishing me for being a rat, but I still stand. I, I do think passing is a bit underrated for a center back. Now, in first place, probably you all guessed it, the first place gold medal in the expensive tier for today's Premier League center backs tier list video is Virgil van Dijk. He's on track to become 84 rated next year, but nonetheless, he looks absolutely incredible. He's had a pace boost as well, so you cannot complain with his pace. His dribbling is respectable for a center back, but most importantly, that passing is very, very respectable. His physical is unreal, and especially that body type going into tackles I can guarantee you if it's a 50-50 a challenge, a one-on-one, -on -one, Virgil van Dijk is going to win 9 out of 10 of those duels. You could even say 99 out of 100. Virgil van Dijk going to tackles is unreal. The only complaint with this card, and the little tip I can give you, is to pair him with someone that is faster and maybe a little bit more smaller, if you will. Like, say, I'm trying to find a good example. If you're looking at Premier League centre-backs, Hero called Dover was used so often at centre-back last FIFA, and you would have noticed when you played Cordoba or even Kunde, a smaller type of centre-back, they were often paired with a really big centre-back. They've got that versatility between them, so I would try pair this Van Dyke card up with someone a little bit more smaller, a little bit more agile, because 
His pace split, 68 acceleration, or 68 sprint speed, I think it is, and 91 accelerate. no, 68 accel- you can see it on the screen now anyway, but that pace split is so annoying. So I would just say be wary with that pace split, 100% get a shadow on him, um, or even a catalyst, because his defending is already good, but you need as much pace on him as you can get, and as I said, pairing him up with a smaller centre back might be the go. That's hope you guys did enjoy this tier list of video. If I had to go and say my overall bang for your buck of the video, if you will, like the player you get in return for the price, I would probably give it to William Saliba. Inform that is an inform card. I think he is a mixture of good defending, good body type, relatively fast, but as I said, he's got that passing and dribbling, which is very respectable to have as a centre back, more so the passing rather than the dribbling. Um, so I would say the best bang for your buck is probably inform Saliba. The time of recording, he is currently 27,000 coins. I do think he might rise. Hopefully, he doesn't go up too much more, like 50,000 coins onwards, because if that's the case, then he would be qualifying for the expensive tier but either way i think the saliba card looks absolutely phenomenal lads nonetheless let me know who you're going to be picking up from this tier list or if you are using any other premier league center big center bigs center mids center back no center backs I've, I've been talking a lot it's currently five in the morning right allow it much love boys i'll see you guys in the next video and as i was going to say if you're using any other center backs let me know in the comments down below who until next time peace out